we now return to the real Ghostbusters. Diane, 11.30 a.m., February 24th. Entering the town of Twin Peaks. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Bill Murray is the funniest man on the planet. Episode by episode. Hello, and welcome to Episode by Episode with the Frog Brothers Podcast. I am Justin. I'm Alec. This is Alec. And of course, Nick is here. Hello. Tonight we are talking episode two of the TV series Chucky. Episode two of uh, Chucky, uh, yeah. Yeah, that show, the Chucky guy, the Chucky. Chucky, yeah, yeah. I, 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 Chucky, I like Chucky movies. They're all right, uh, you know. Uh, he likes to use them knife things, you know, them little stabby things you use to cut up stuff in the kitchen. Or people you murder. Basically. So, uh, this episode gets right to it. Uh, yeah, it opens up in, um... So I'm tired as fuck. Uh, <clears throat> Halloween 1965, with, um, sort of a flashback into mm. Charles Lee Ray's childhood. I just remember the beginning of this. Yeah. And he opens, uh, or he's <laughs> looking at an apple. I think, I think his parents gave it to him, didn't they? There's two things that I don't like. Drinking pee and eating razor blades. Yes. Um, that does make it hard to watch. The drinking pee might come out of nowhere if you're just watching this review, but if not, watch episode <laughs> 84 of the Frog Brothers podcast yes, and you'll annotated all, understand all about that. Um, I don't like watching people drink pee. And if you're one of the pee therapy people who's... Um, Stalking Alec. <laughs> or was just like really into that podcast episode and we really opened your eyes and you're a fan now and we got your subscribe and your likes and stuff. There's going to be at least one person that's going to try drinking pee because of us. I hope not. Uh, I would feel like a failure. You know there is. We don't have that many listeners, hey, Nick. Who do you think listens to this? At some point in the Nick future. Nick just admitted he's going to try drinking his own no, pee. No, I will not. I think so. I he might be right I now. Like, it looks kind of nuclear, but... Yeah. Well, KFC has that one Mountain Dew, like Kentucky Lightning or something, and it looks like piss. Huh. Like, like you have some kind of illness piss. Yeah. A lot of those like people's have piss look like that. Yeah. This is Chucky review, though. Anybody who's just tuning in is like, oh, we'll see what these guys' Chucky <laughs> Say review about is Chucky. like. Hey, we'll get to Chucky, and uh, that starts <clears throat> in right about now. The um, So he finds a razor blade in his apple, and he fucking is like about to bite into it, and then he looks <laughs> at it, and then he goes, ah! And just, oh, fuck. I know. I texted you. I was like, dude, I, that's fucking hard it to watch. cringe. Uh, like, I can watch people get hacked to death. If it's something I can imagine myself. Oh, stop. Feeling. Yes, I, I know. Like I'm it's having like a hard time right it now. It literally like makes my stomach turn when like I just imagine I'm biting into it. I can like <sighs> my brain is so good. It's like it focuses and like I can feel. I can where imagine the razor like blade where the, would be yeah. slicing around and shit. Yeah, uh, the gums, the roof of your yeah. mouth, the body, your well, mouth. something like, up in here, you, you know, like, coming apart. <sighs> That's why later in the episode when that woman is sitting there talking to the cops, she's still at home. We got that blood coming around. <laughs> <laughs> went to the hospital. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like yeah, you should be at the emergency room. <laughs> we, uh, we didn't want to pay for a ER set this week. Um, so he's dropped off at the school. You know, they're, he's riding with them, and they're like, "Yeah, heated seats." Something your broke ass wouldn't be used to. Yeah, he's like, uh, "Are you okay?" He's like, "Yeah, the the seat's getting kind of hot." He's like, "Oh, uh, yeah, use the switch to the right to turn it off." It smells like tuna in here. That's low-hanging fruit for a joke, Nick. Are you assuming that he has a vagina? No. Are you implying that he stuffs tuna cans up his butt? What? I don't get the joke here. Where does the you tuna explain? smell come from? Heating. Heating what? Heating. Heating what? Your crotch. Whose crotch? All of, all of no. theirs. Only yeah. his was on because uh, it was accidentally, the seat was accidentally I left thought on. all of them was on or something. They all have the heated seats, I'm sure, but his okay. was the only one that was like left on, and he was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, they basically are like, "Hey, this is a Lexus or whatever." And he's they like, say. "Yeah, turn it off, you dumb bastard." Who's a Lexus? You poor bastard. Mm-hmm. Um, we get the maid, maid walking around cleaning, and she like sprays some shit on Chucky, and he's like, "All right." <laughs> she that's puts it. like, <laughs> yeah, she puts Windex on his eyes and rubs him down, and he's yeah. like, "That's it, I'm gonna kill her." Yeah, he has like no patience at all. Uh, Booger, you will be all right. He's barking outside. We had to close him outside because he kept on plugging cables. Mm -hmm. They do a little foreshadowing, though. They see her open the drawer and, like, all the knives are missing. You're like, huh, where could the knives be? Mm -hmm. It's they a pretty good one, though, too, because... Foreskin shadowing. Yeah, they do a good job on this. And I did... Oh, so he set those knives up in the dishwasher? 
No, I don't know. I'm not sure necessarily. Oh, okay. They don't imply, like, later on in the episode, you hear him talking about, I didn't fucking do it. Yeah. Like, he may have scared her or she may have tripped, but yeah, you don't really know on that one. That's the beauty of that death in that, <sighs> at that moment. It looks like he clearly... I thought he pushed her. Yeah, pushed her, but still. Pushed her or scared her is what I was thinking, so... Um, I think he tried to deny it. But. Here's my public service announcement of don't load your knives into the dishwasher blade up, you fucking morons. If you do that, you're a fucking idiot. Even the episode like has dialogue specifically around there. Like, no, that's basically been debunked. Like, point them down. Yeah. As a kid, when I... I was kind of more clean. They well, say your knife, it more your clean. knife shouldn't have shit caked on it anyway. Either way. As a kid, when I used to have to unload the dishwasher, there'd be people that would like occasionally like load the sharp knives pointing well, upward, like, and I'm like, "Fuck you! Don't do like, that! I don't want to! I never wanted to fucking get the silverware." Well, how do you then. grab them out of there anyway if they're really sharp? Well, you then you're fucking them getting them dirty blade. and getting fingerprints all over exactly. them. Exactly. So. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. yeah, that was a pretty cool <clears throat> death though. Like, and it was mm. like her body was all fucked up, and they had all the sharp knives in there. So yeah. Like, I can see that, like, 80 times a day, no problem. But that razor blade scene just fucking makes yeah, my could, stomach I turn. I could watch someone eat somebody, but I just don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not like, something yeah. I can feel. When I see all the knives, like, jabbered out, I'm like, yeah, whatever. Um, the police questioned the parents because the kids came home shortly after and mm-hmm. discovered that, Junior and uh, Jake. Yeah, and they yeah. make a pretty big point of saying, like, well, there's no camera footage of any of that. And then the other cop is more... Like, yeah, they could have been covering for uh, each other. Tell me, uh, did you cap get your kids uh, killed your mate? But they, were at, <laughs> but they were at school at time of death, though, right? And they're like, yeah, well, Jake doesn't even barely knows her. He barely knew her a week. Yeah. So. Then they decide to all go out for this Halloween party still. And um, mm-hmm. Chucky is escaped sometime during um, Jake's confrontation with Junior, I guess. Um. And then you see Chucky walking down the street and the, with the Hello Kitty mask and shit. That's great. Mm-hmm. And I like how even the Hello Kitty mask is kind of fucked up because the eyes on it are like look like stars or scratched out in there in a way, uh-huh. like they've been modded. So um, it's pretty creepy. And I love how it looks like a little child just walking down the street. Like yeah, if you're not that's probably what attention. it was in the scene. I yeah, think. it could have been. Yeah, it looked like it. But, I mean, um, it was creepy because it was, like, fucking legit terrifying. And then you see Jake right behind him trying to the What's the, what's the evil girl's name? The bully girl? Oh. I didn't write her name down, but her little sister is, like, obsessed with Chucky now and is, mm-hmm. like, draw, drawn like him really good and shit. And oh, her and parents her, are so proud of her and shit. And her parents are talking mad shit to her because they're like, like, you've never been this talented at anything in your life. You should mm-hmm. be happy for her. And she looks up to you and you're like, damn, it's fucking brutal. Did we skip over the part, though, where uh, Chucky just comes up and talks to him about... I took minimal notes, so I don't uh, think so, but maybe. Yeah, I think it was early on in the episode where they're sitting in the room, and then obviously you've probably seen this meme by now because it hit fucking streets like wildfire where basically Chucky says he has a queer kid, and that's a quote. Yeah, he's, he says something about, you know, I have a queer kid, basically, and he's like, uh, you have a kid? And he's like, gender, gender fluid, fluid, gender fluid, yep. And he's like, and you're cool with that. I'm not a monster, Jake. Yeah. And that's well, pretty... people are like giving him credit, but I think he's just trying to get on his good side because if you watch Seed of Chucky, he really wasn't. Well, he wasn't open to it at first, but I think did they're he... implying yeah, that I'm he's... Yeah, I'm trying to remember if he really came around at the end or not. He but... did. Like, at first he was like all about wanting, you're a boy, you should be a boy. Yeah. And while Tiffany was like, no, it's Glenda, and they were fighting over it that way, but then they both became cool with it. Um, but we haven't even seen that character, but I like how it's referenced and we don't need to, s- I, I don't think we're going to see a Glenn or Glenn. We don't need to reference them in the last two movies. Well, yeah, like I said, that seed is kind of grouped with bride and those last two are kind of grouped together. So yeah, I don't they think their own things going. I like, like how they referenced it, but I don't think they're going to need to show it for this story. Now, maybe later on they'll do something. Else I think it. this series will be good at kind of recognizing everything that's happened before, but also just doing its own thing. This might end up, I mean. So far, it's pretty fucking high on my list of Chucky material. Yeah, they don't retcon anything in this series. Or they might kind of like you don't need try to. to distance themselves from it, but they're not like Halloween. We're like, oh, we're ignoring. But a lot of people do hate Seed of Chucky, so the fact that no, he even I mentioned know. it is pretty yeah. cool. So I'll say it. He's not going to retcon. Or and it's also anything. again dealing with the fact that um, I think Don Mancino was even talking about Chucky, and he's like, yeah, see, Chucky is super intelligent, so he knows. That, like, it's not bad to be gay at this point in his life. He, he's aware of that. He's like, that's not a problem. 
He's like, but he also knows that what he's doing when he kills people is wrong. But it just feels too good not to do it. I think I heard like a vocal clip of him saying that basically. Yeah, which makes sense, right? Because he gets the thrill out of it. And yeah. And this is the thing in in this series, it's noticeably different. Chucky so far has mostly well, besides the maid, I guess. But he's trying to manipulate Jake in a way where he's killing people who don't necessarily. <laughs> you know, I'm not saying that teenage girl deserves to die or anything, but she deserves a pimp slap at least. He's trying he to does teach, try to yeah. kill her in this episode. Exactly. He's he's murdering people that at least you don't feel bad about them dying. But they it's, deserve to die. You know, exactly. he's, he's having know. that whole like moral yeah. of the story piece. And you're like, oh, okay, I get it. It's like the twisted moral of the story, but yeah. Um, then he threatens that woman. Basically, he's like, if you tell me what I need to know, I'll give you a treat. <laughs> and she's like talking some. She's just like, oh, it's adorable. And he's like, uh, if you don't tell me, uh, maybe I'll give you a trick. And then. She goes, like, there's no him. need for that. And then right. she tells him about the neighbor's party that they well, It's like loud music right across the street, basically, yeah. she yeah. says. So you could have figured that out. Yep. Then he tosses her the apple. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank God we don't have to see much of that until oh, she's thank, bleeding yeah. a little later, which if is... If they showed the bite on that, I'd be... Uh, no. Um, I like how Chucky's playing video games with the little girl, though. Like yeah. a really violent video game. Mm. And then he's saying some shit about... Um, She's like, Mommy says real killing is bad. And he's like, yeah, well, Mommy's full of shit. <laughs> yeah, Mommy <laughs> says that swearing's bad. Uh, mommy's working her way up my list pretty fucking goddamn fa- quick. Pretty, pretty fucking, fucking quick, fast, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is pretty, because at that point, she just looks at him and like doesn't say anything. And then he's like, so uh, where is uh, your sister anyway? And she's like, oh, probably upstairs making out with Junior, basically. And he's like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and then he goes up under the bed there. And uh, she's trying to get <laughs> stuck. Yeah. And he is... He's 13-year-olds. I think that they're like 14 or so, uh, or so at least. 14 to 15. But at least still, one of them is supposed she's to be trying 13. to at least get finger-banged, clearly, by her behavior, okay? She, wants, she, she is wants ready to, She's and ready to are, advance her relationship. When you were 14, you were at least doing similar things where you were like, I'm almost getting to finger-bang someone or almost getting a hand job and shit. Like, that's something that happens when you're a teenager. Now, um... Talking about it, of course, is still uncomfortable in a very weird way, but you have to put it into perspective. It's um, awkward teenager, so it's going to be awkward anyway, but yeah. she's... But either way, she's into it, and she's down, and she's, she literally says, come to daddy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's the hilarious thing. Were we talking there. last week that Junior might be gay also? Yeah, something? possibly. And maybe that's part of it? I don't think that's part of it. I think he's just a chicken shit, because he's... Young and inexperienced, and that's that's he, the thing. He already came in his pants, probably. He doesn't realize like it's right there. There's things that you yeah. just don't know as a young man that you learn later. Where so I put it. Well, yeah. If you've never felt up someone, you're not Where's inclined to just be like, "Fuck yeah, you like that." You're like, he's like, yeah. "Oh god, oh god, I've never touched a boob before." <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god, oh no. Um, he called me. You just saying I've got boobs? No, but you're my closest. Uh, I've got boobs. Leave me so alone. then Chucky's trying to stab them while she's on top of the bed, and he just keeps missing, basically. Yeah. The, he that, doesn't move anywhere else. At yeah. first, he's just there being an ass, which is funny, because you're like, he doesn't even really care if he kills him, because he's eavesdropping, which is funny. And then, like, when he f- starts trying to, like, they move out of the way, and, like, there's two, like, close stabbings, and they, they get out of the way, which is pretty funny. It's well-timed. The other girl comes in there is like, what are you doing? And she's like, absolutely Nothing. nothing. And, like, fucking gets up and leaves. Angry. And then, uh, you know, she goes downstairs and does her fucking costume bit. Well, also, oh, yeah. Jake and... What's the other guy's name? His kind of crush friend? The kid with the podcast? Yeah. His mom's the police chief? Or the well, either way, they were locked into yeah. a room that was marked hell for, like, seven, seven minutes, minutes in heaven hell, parody yeah. thing. Yeah. And uh, they didn't kiss or do anything like that, but they did talk about some Chucky shit for a minute. Oh, Boogie, it's okay. Um, Dogs trying to break in for those watching basically. and listening. Um, he gets Jake gets super pissed at this point because he goes out there and sees that girl, the bully girl, doing a fucking dance dressed as his, his dad getting electrocuted or and two. dying. Yeah, yeah, so she's got this crazy wig on. She's got like a mechanics overall suit on, and, and then she's got the goatee, like, and everyone's like you think losing one their shit. Be like, Whoa, that's a little... Junior is. Junior's a little like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. And it's because it's his uncle who is his oh, dad's yeah, twin. True, yeah. Oh, poor booger. He's in another room for 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, 
There's a band I used, opened up for in 2015, I think, 2016. I don't remember the year, but they're called Boy Harsher. Oh, the I opened music. Opened up for them at a house show, yeah. And they're, they've gotten pretty fucking big these last couple of years. And, uh, like, they were in this show during that party scene. That's the song that plays. It's a song of theirs called Fate. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's um, fun. You said you played a house show. Like, so as they're up and coming, doing a little. Yeah. It was like uh, maybe 20, 30 people there. And I opened up for. They were the headliner, but. Did you get chummy with them? Not really. Did you get them on the program here? <laughs> I did not. Oh. Um, you I didn't tell them the that. I bet you they remember that house show, though. People always remember good stories like that. Yeah. Is that a weird in Memphis at the time? And I, it was my band, uh, Black Orchestra. So it was another goth band synth music too like very 80s so kind of worked well together um and jake's kind of pissed at that point and goes back in and i don't have notes on this part because we started talking about some shit but i, I ba- briefly remember they go down into the basement or something you know, like downstairs chucky basically talking you know he goes back talks in and then stabbing her right chucky yeah. talks him into stabbing and you have that really well the cinematography of this scene is like so great because you see him seeing the reflection in his hand and Chucky's encouraging no, him. No, that's the... not what I'm talking about. Oh. Before that. There's more stuff, the interaction where um Chucky is about to stab that girl and he comes in and stops it. Right as it's happening oh, and yeah. leaves with Chucky. Oh. Okay. You and me were talking. That's why we I didn't get notes on this because we started talking about something we were witnessed on there. And um then he kind of runs out, and that's where Junior, her, her sister, and the podcast kid are all down in the basement there, like, kind of like, oh, what the fuck just happened? And Jake runs out of there with Chucky, goes mm-hmm. home, and that's where they have that talk. Yeah, okay. And he fucking gets him to take the knife. He's like, you should fucking kill this bitch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It'll feel good. Yeah, and that's where the episode ends. It's, it's a pretty good episode. Like, they're setting um, up a lot of stuff. I'm loving the series, and I'm loving the characters, too. Like, I'm into it. And Chucky's so likable in this, which is, like, fucked up, right? Because he's, no, he's normally, like, the comedic relief, and, like, you know, he's usually pretty funny, but in this, he's, like, he's grooming this kid, basically. Yeah, usually yeah he's you being root manipulative. For him. Yeah, but he's grooming him, right? Like, you'd groom somebody in a, in a negative way. That's why I use the tomb grooming instead of mentoring. Mentoring would be a positive thing, but he's grooming this kid to be a murderer just like him, and I think he's going to groom that other little girl, too. Based on that, he's like, I really like you. I Based see potential. on her smiling in the last episode when her sister is being ridiculed on stage, she's got a yeah. little bit of a. Which that'll be interesting. That makes me think they might have plans like that. That is only for if the series gets picked up for future seasons. The little yeah. girl thing. I don't think that's going to happen super right away. Are they but wanting slowly. to do more seasons? Or I don't know, but it's one? USA and Sci-Fi. So it's not like it. it's a more limited event series channel. But have they announced how many episodes they're doing? It was eight. I was about 10. to say 8 to 13, somewhere in there, probably. Eight or 10, Typically, yeah. What I am impressed with, though, for this being like a, a traditional cable show, they are pushing the boundaries with uh, some of the gore and stuff they're showing because there's a lot of what stuff. Are, what are they not doing? What can't they do? They, they say the, all the well, words. Well, typically, and they I have mean, the typically gore. they would do some of that, but they'd be more focused on ratings, you know, because even sometimes TV Mature stuff is still not, you know, they still do some editing. So this doesn't feel like it's really parred down for. And if you're wondering, if you are like, how can I watch this? It's also, they upload the episodes. They've been uploading them on YouTube after. Yeah, the first two are on YouTube. Mm-hmm. So I'm assuming they'll do the same with a third, like two or day, three days after, which they may as well because they can make a lot of money off of YouTube revenue that way. Yeah, they'll make versus money. Versus people pirating it. Yeah, you're still going to so. get your streams. You're still going to get the advertising yeah. dollars, all the stuff you normally mm-hmm. make from. So it's Eight really episodes. Good. Well, so. I'm hoping to see Tiffany in the next one. Yeah, we we'll also see. have Kyle from Child's Play 2 is supposed to make an appearance. Uh, the handicapped girl from the last two movies is supposed to be in it. There's lots of interesting stuff. So, Yeah, so uh, throw you what your thoughts in the episode were in the comments below. Let us know what you thought. Let us know uh, if you got any predictions of what's coming. Yeah. I'd like to know what you think. Some Easter eggs, maybe? Yeah, Easter eggs. I haven't been looking for those because I haven't watched everything recently enough to really be in like paying attention so (laughs) good night everybody hey guys thanks for listening to the frog brothers podcast we'd greatly appreciate it if you could like and subscribe if you're listening on youtube and if you're listening on the audio feed on spotify or apple or twitch or wherever you listen tell your friends and make sure to subscribe to our youtube at youtube.com slash the frog bros hit us up on instagram at frog bros podcast on twitter at bros underscore frog 
on TikTok at Frog Bros Podcast, and follow us on Facebook. Join our Facebook group, Frog Bros Video, by searching just that, Frog Bros Video. Hit request to join and you'll be approved. We have shirts available. The link is in our Instagram bio and below in the description. And you can find stickers on Etsy at Frog Bros, all one word. Additionally, if you'd like to give us a call and leave a voicemail soon, our Patreon will be live and we'll be posting monthly responses and reactions to the voicemails. Dial 816-832-5388.